not so interesting life how are you how are you doing i just graduated and now i am going to start a transformation um into my 18 year old self so first up is going to be this hair i am going to dye it myself and it's going to be one out of like four options <laughs> so it's going to be either a milk tea brown a dusty pink um i want the dusty pink more than the milk tea brown at the moment and then if not that then we're just gonna go platinum you know we're gonna buy some developer because i already got the bleach and some toner if that if it gets to this and if not we're just gonna go dark purple yeah um so that's my plans for today other than graduation okay we got the dollar tree box dye on um we'll see how this turns out i just wanted to get a little bit lighter and then I could go in with this more professional um, dye, which is Ash Blonde. So, yeah. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It has been 45 minutes, and now I'm gonna go in with this after I wash my hair and dry it. Okay, so this is how my hair looks like semi dry. Um, so you can see it got some of my grown out undercut and definitely my roots because like you know the heat from your hair yeah um so now i'm gonna go in with the ash blonde okay i just put it on and now i'm gonna let it set for 35 minutes to 45 minutes just that the color can set in. This kit only came with a mixing like plastic bowl and it didn't come with a brush so I recommend getting your own brush and also your own gloves and now um well after this I'm going to condition it with wicking. Now it's time to wash. Okay, so here is my hair now after I blow dried some and washed it. Okay. It is like a light brown or like a medium brown um, on the roots and then it's still a little dark on my ends. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. So, I don't know if I should keep this or um, dye it purple or get some supplies tomorrow so I can fix it, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so I used this on the ends and then on my roots. And I'm gonna wait 45 minutes and after I am going to use this purple conditioner so that it takes out the brassiness and so that it'll look a little bit less yellow okay here is my hair after the third box dye and now i'm gonna go in with this um to see um so that maybe it'll turn I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going for right now. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let this marinate. Okay, it has the, the fourth box dye. And now this is what my hair looks like. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the summer. my 
favorites last for every single box that I but I only did that from some of them, so. Right now, it looks like a sort of brown, um, a little bit ashy, and I am pretty, pretty solid with it. Now I'm gonna get my eyebrows done and a lash lift. Okay, so I got my eyebrows waxed and my lashes lifted. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna dye my hair one more time, which is going to be a dusty pink. So it'll be with the Korean hair dye, and it's like a bubble formula. So yeah. Okay, so this is the hair dye that I went with, and it, it should turn out like a dusty pink like this. And I had so much left over bubble hair dye that like my whole head is like fully saturated in it like i think if you had long hair you would not need two of these box dyes i think just one would be like plenty so yeah um i'll check in with you guys after i wash this out and put in this hair treatment okay let's rinse <laughs> Okay, so I just got my nails done at Serenity Nail Spa and then I got gel and then I showed the design and what color I wanted, so... Hey, so this is the final result after five box dyes. It is like a strawberry shortcake dusty pink. It looks more copper on camera, but in real life it's more pinky. And so, yeah. Um, I'm going to get my eyebrow pierced really soon, and that'll be the end of my transformation. Hey guys, I'm with Gigi, and we are going to go and get my eyebrow mm -hmm. piercing today, so... Mm -hmm. How's that feel? It's okay. It's like a little pinch, right? Yeah. You did it! Yay! <laughs> So it's gonna be poking out for a little bit for the healing. For six to three weeks, or sorry, three to six weeks. You can change it out for a shorter one, but for now you need it longer. That way it doesn't like embed. And if you're very careful, you won't have any like irritation or swellingness. That's what you want now. Thank you. Yeah, baby. You did so good. <laughs> Make sure you wash it twice a day. And go ahead and check the mirror out. We're gonna be pushing it out like this, mm -hmm. thinning off the blood or greasy. Is she supposed to wash her with anything specific? Clearly pollution spray. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then in about three to six weeks, you can get smaller bubbles. I mean, not smaller bubbles, but smaller um, piercing. But for now, you just do the longer one because it's so small. Okay, so this is a 16 gauge. Length is 5 eighths. You're going to need a 3 fourths. Well, you can come back and we'll put it in. Okay, guys, I did it. Look at it. <laughs> Okay, so now Gigi's gonna get her ears pierced. <laughs> Okay, so this is the end of the transformation into my 18-year-old self. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for all the services that I went to and for all the love and support. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!